about, and I have to be straight up and, f and, and honest about it, is that the Muslim ruler, according to their twisted logic, can commit Hitler-like massacres and the Muslims have to be patient with it. That's why in essence you're saying that there is no bounds for the Muslim ruler. He could do what he wants and how he wants. And Islam, according to them, gives them the right. So this is why I say they, in essence, have legitimized religious oppression. But of these groups are basically what we call slaves to the rulers. They have nothing but animosity against those who speak for justice.